What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial and in this video guys I'm going to show you guys something really really cool I have never done on the channel So make sure to smash that like button down below and watch this What's up guys, my name is Alex, welcome back to a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial and as you guys can see I'm wearing a cap again because I'm just switching back and forth between a cap and no cap so this video I'm gonna wear, the, I'm gonna wear a cap but that doesn't really matter because I already can see some comments about people Dude, why are you uh, wearing your cap again? Your hair looks so great, well guys, in the next videos I'll be just wearing no caps whatsoever so in this video guys, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I created those awesome portals you guys have seen in the intro and the thumbnail as well. So it's gonna be a really awesome video. Make sure to smash that like button down below. I would say let's get started. So as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 15 and this is just basically the footage of me, as you guys can see, pretending that I'm going to make portals appear uh, while I'm pointing to the ground right here as you can see. So it's gonna be, it looks really difficult but it's pretty straightforward and pretty simple to actually do this. So what we're going to do first of all is we need a clip of a portal and if you guys want to use the same portal as I used uh, I will leave the download link in the description so we're going to drag that guy in I'm going to go to the folder and as you guys can see this is uh, the actual portal so I'm going to drag that guy into Vegas Pro as you can see very simple create a new video track because we're going to make this uh, portal obviously on, be on top of a video track I'm going to remove the audio because I don't really need that then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on this icon to the compositing mode and put that one to screen. Now, as you can see, it looks really cool when we have actually made the portal. But what I did is I made it a little bit more visible. So what I did is I go, I went to the video effects tab. I went to chroma key. I went to the default one, place that on top of the portal. And what we're going to do then is pretty straightforward. We're going to make a, the color be black, obviously. And as you can see right now, the portal is a little bit more visible you can also mess around with the blur amount just to give it some shadow so this one looks really cool and what we're gonna do then is we're gonna resize this guy and if you don't have those icons that I have right here go to this icon pick the bottom one and then just select and check all of those boxes now what we're gonna do then is we're gonna go ahead and replace this and resize this so it's gonna fit on the wall so click on the track motion icon what we're gonna do then is we're gonna just drag this square down as you can see and we're gonna place it on the wall right here so that's a really cool position for the first one and I'll move on to the second one the second portal on the ground in just a minute so as you can see right now we have the portal uh, you know just moving onto the onto the screen which is lo looking really cool uh, what we're gonna do then is we're gonna time this so I'm gonna make the portal appear when I'm pointing so I'm gonna move up the video and as you can see I'm just doing like this boom I'm pointing to the ground so I'm gonna put the first one first so I'm gonna you know move up a few frames and as you can see when I'm standing like that we want the portal to appear so this is what it looks like in slow motion boom but what we're going to do is we're going to make this one fade in a little more. That's a little bit more cool of a transition. Boom, as you can see, and that's how it looks. Moving on to the next thing is we're going to place an image inside that portal. So it looks like it's a portal to another world, to another place. So go to the, just right click, insert a new video track, and I'm going to just drag in the picture of a random house. So let me go to the folder, and I'm going to pick this image of a house, drag it on top of the video track, and we're going to also make this guy fade in just like the portal. Portal. Now, in order to make this picture fit into the portal, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the if I'm pan crop, obviously, and, and really important, guys, we want the image to be below the actual portal. So I'm going to just drag this gra uh, card down, as you can see, so that only the portal is visible. Then what we're going to do to make this fit inside of the portal, go to the if I'm pan crop icon. What we're going to do then is we're going to click on mask at the bottom, pick this one, and we're going to just go ahead and make this guy fit into the portal so i'm gonna just draw a random portal and i'm gonna just drag this guy until it fits and then obviously you just want to adjust everything until it looks legit and i think this one looks really cool i'm just resizing it a little bit but i'm going to place 
uh, the portal a little bit more down. If I play this back, this is basically the portal appearing. So that looks really, really cool. I'm going to make it a little bit less quality. So as you can see, that is the portal and the portal is moving. So we're going to move on to the bottom one. It works exactly the same. Go to uh, just insert a new video track. What we're going to do then is I'm just going to go ahead and paste this portal in. Then we're going to just go ahead and click on the track motion icon. We're going to just tilt this guy until it looks like it's legitimate on the ground. Resize it a little bit. But as you can see, it doesn't really look uh, like natural like this. So we're going to just tilt this guy in 3D mode. So go to the source alpha, click on 3D source alpha. We have those boxes. We're going to mess around with this one. And as you can see, if we turn it, that looks freaking amazing. And that looks really realistic that it's on the ground. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little bit so I can be a little precise. So I'm going to make the portal look like this. I'm going to place it a little bit more down. So this looks like it's a portal on the ground and that is basically how awesome it looks now what we're gonna do last thing is we're gonna add in the lava so just create a new video track as always drag in a video of lava footage and just place this guy right here now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the lava obviously be behind the actual uh, portal on the ground so we're gonna just resize this guy a little bit so, so it looks like a little square like so then what we're going to do is we're going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to place the lava right here below it. Then what we're going to do is the exact same thing for the house. Go to event pen crop and then just go ahead and click on mask. Pick this tool. Then what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and select the lava. And then we're going to also make it look like it's in the portal like so. And I'm going to stretch this guy just a little bit so it looks very realistic. Drag the top one a little bit more down so it looks like the lava is actually inside of this portal. So that one looks really tight and as you can see if you play it back, boom, there is the lava. So I'm going to make the lava also fade in just like the beginning of, the, of every portal. And as you can see, boom, the lava is just playing back and that's how awesome it looks guys. So I'm going to go ahead and play back the video slow motion. As you can see, the lava is moving, the, the portals are moving. That's how awesome it looks, guys. So the next thing and the last thing to make it look realistic, we're going to make an orange glow coming out of the lava because, it, you know, obviously it is like maybe a thousand degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and also drag in just an orange glow. Drag that on top of the clip. And I'm going to also make this be under the actual portal. Then what we're going to do is go to the event pan crop icon. Just like just like all the elements that we've done in this program. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pick the rectangle tool. And we're going to just do it like this. Boom. Select so it's only like around in the half. Then the only thing we need to do is go ahead and click on the track motion icon. And then go ahead and resize this. And replace this until it looks very very legit so i'm going to go ahead and go back to the event pan crop because the edges needs need to look great so i'm going to go ahead and drag this one this is just really detailed as you can see then what we're going to do the very last thing is we're going to make this guy be under the lava so i'm going to go ahead and drag the edges a little bit more to the uh, to the left so it looks very very legit then i'm going to go to the feather type put it to both the feather and you just want to go ahead and mess with this marker until it looks a little bit more blurry so this is looks really cool we're gonna place this guy under the lava and boom as you can see we have a really nice glow coming out of the portal and that's how to do it guys this is how you create an awesome portal it is that simple so one thing guys for watching thank you for the continued support and if you want to see more of those really advanced tutorials make sure to let me know in the comments let me know your suggestions and I will look into it and maybe your suggestion will pop up in a new video about Vegas 15 so that's all I have for you guys today and guys I really want to thank you guys for almost 150,000 subscribers we're getting so close to 150,000 we're only like maybe like two th less than 2,000 away I'm so thankful for all of this and currently when you're watching this video I'm running a giveaway guys I'm giving away a one more Elgato as you can see an Elgato HT 60s just for free just go ahead and check out the description there's a link to the giveaway and now you can just go ahead and participate so that's the one of the magic guys thank you and i cannot thank you guys enough for the support and i will see you guys obviously in a new video tomorrow so thank you guys and i will see you guys in tomorrow's video
Just Alex Halford.